Why is he so careless? Hi guys, hope all of you are doing good. Your boy Al is here with solo leveling episode 11 review. At first we see Sung accept his job change quest task and enters a purple portal that appears before him. Meanwhile, you and his father, accompanied by Yu's brother Jin Sung, are in a dining area discussing s rank hunter recruitment plans. Jin Sung mentions facing some rejections but is negotiating with European and Middle Eastern hunters. Back to Sung, he explores the peculiar dungeon where he can't use his full recovery skill or any potions. Sung encounters and defeats a knight using his fatal strike skill, but more knights challenge him afterward. I have a feeling that Sung might end up being the guild master of Yu's guild, and if that happens, I would love to see how everyone reacts to it. Also it looks like Yu's relationship with his family is pretty strained. We see Jin Sung confront Yu about his C-rank dungeon buying plans, warning him not to interfere. Meanwhile, Sung defeats several knights in the dungeon but faces more enemies using skills from previous encounters. Sung strategizes their weaknesses while fighting, aiming to end the battle quickly due to fatigue. Guildmaster Choi meets Cha Heian and other hunters near an aircraft. Sung defeats his enemies and obtains armor, then encounters a formidable red knight named Igris the Bloodred, sensing its power surpasses his own. I'm guessing Choi and the others will fail the Jeju Island raid again, which will cause a big fuss, and Sung will clear it later down the line. Also I wonder what you plans to do with Sung, because by now it should be very clear to him that Sung can grow stronger unlike others. Next we see Igris and Sung engage in combat, with Igris displaying superior strength. Sung ponders how to breach Igris's defenses and decides to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Surprisingly, Igris discards its weapons, prompting Song to question its intentions. Meanwhile, Wu pays a visit to Chairman Go, where they briefly discuss their tasks. Choi contacts Go over the phone, assuring him of their progress and expressing gratitude for approving their upcoming operation. Go wishes them success on their mission to Jeju Island, and Choi reassures him that they are prepared to assess the threat levels effectively. I will be honest. The jump between scenes annoyed me so much that I was screaming inside my head. I don't know whether it was like this in the manhwa, but I can say for sure that most people wouldn't mind one less episode or chapter, so please don't cover time like this. Moving on we see Sung continue his battle with Igris, struggling against his opponent's overwhelming strength. He decides to increase his speed to gain an advantage but finds himself unable to match Igris's power, resulting in him being thrown around. Meanwhile, Jina leaves a note in the kitchen before retiring to her room to eat and study. Returning to Sung's fight, he finds himself sitting in Igris's chair with Igris looming over him. As Igris summons his sword, Sung grabs it, disarms him, and counterattacks, ultimately defeating Igris by stabbing him multiple times. The player log confirms Sung's victory. Well what can I say, the fight scenes were just too good, and I absolutely loved everything about them. I think no one can deny that solo leveling is killing it with top-notch fight scenes. Then we see Sung receive multiple rewards from defeating Igris, including a teleportation stone, which he questions how to carry since his inventory is full. More portals and player logs appear, signaling the continuation of the job change quest. Sung faces multiple enemy waves, realizing they are not as strong as Igris. He charges at the knights while Choi and his allies depart for Jeju Island. Sung continues to fight against the Horde of Knights, pondering how long he can keep it up. Sung knows his system works like a game, so I don't understand why he doesn't do some research by playing games, that way he can have a much better grasp of things. Also every time there was a jump between scenes I wanted to bang my head. At the end we see Sung realize he may not sustain his efforts much longer. He attempts to use his teleportation stone, but a knight knocks it away. A swarm of knights charges toward him. Sometimes Sung's carelessness just baffles me, lightly holding onto an item that can save your life in the middle of a full-on assault, like bruh, did you stop using your brain or what? Overall it was a good action-packed episode with horrendous pacing. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. 
If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.